Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I'm a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here, I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and just stick around. Also, if you need any help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. Today's video is how to change your inner talk, your inner dialogues, your inner conversations, how to structure them so that your specific person actually receives this energy subconsciously and actually gets into the energy themselves of thinking about you a lot, missing you, wanting to be with you, wanting to come towards you, and all these things that presumably are desirable to you. So this is what I'm going to discuss in this video. Stay tuned. So first of all, let's address something that is very, very important, because if you don't understand that, if you don't realize that, then it's going to be much harder to actually change your experience, what you are seeing and what you are experiencing in the 3D reality. The thing I want you to realize and understand is that the reason you're having your current experience in the 3D, presumably if you're watching this video, it's an experience along the lines of my specific person is not thinking about me, I don't think they're missing me, I don't feel like that they want to be with me, or I don't feel like they're prioritizing me, I don't feel like they want to spend time with me, I don't feel like they want to come towards me, and all these things that I'm pretty sure are giving you an icky feeling in your body, they make you feel uneasy, they make you feel anxious, maybe stressed, maybe sad, maybe lonely, all these kinds of feelings that come from a state where you don't feel um, wanted, chosen, prioritized, and all these things. So the reason your 3D is showing you evidence of all these things that you don't like, all the things that you don't want, is because of your inner talk, because of your inner dialogues, because of your inner conversations. For whatever reason, whether it's a subconscious pattern that you've been carrying over for years, maybe from relationship to relationship, or maybe because of something having to do with that specific person, you have created within you an expectation, a belief, that your specific person actually is not missing you, is not thinking about you, does not care to spend time with you, um, is not prioritizing you, is not making plans with you or making plans around you. And this is the dominant inner reality that you're actually dwelling in. I want you to understand and realize that the reason this reality, this unfavorable reality is being continued and perpetuated in your 3D is because like I said, at some point or another, you, and it might have been subconsciously, did accept as true that pattern of, or that, that inner assumption that your SP or your SPs, if it's a continuing pattern, um, does not care about you, does not miss you enough, does not want to be with you, is not thinking about you, etc., etc. And so your dominant inner talk, your dominant inner dialogues and inner conversations are actually along those lines. How is it that they're not missing me? How is it that they're not thinking about me? How is it that they're not prioritizing me? How is it that they're not choosing me? How is it that they don't want to make plans with me? Whatever it is, you mentally and emotionally are perpetuating in your head all these inner dialogues, all these inner conversations where you're dominantly dwelling in the things that you don't want. You're dominantly dwelling in perhaps things of the past, perhaps things that reflect current circumstances, um, things that reflect an unfavorable 3D. And that's what you, where you keep yourself stuck in. That's what you keep paying attention to. That's where you keep focusing your inner talk on. And so what the 3D ends up showing you, it has no other choice, is confirmation and validation, unfortunately, of these dominant inner beliefs these dominant inner assumptions, that dominant inner state of they don't want me, they're not thinking about me, um, they are not missing me, they don't want to make plans with me, they don't want to spend time with me, and whatever else it might be. So then how do you counter that? How do you change that inner talk? How do you change those inner dialogues and inner conversations to actually match what you do want? 
to actually align with a reality that is showing you what you do want, is showing you what you do want to see and experience in your 3D. If your dominant inner beliefs, your dominant inner assumptions, your dominant inner expectations are actually that your SP is not missing you, not thinking about you, not wanting you, etc., etc., this is what you keep creating. So to do the opposite, to create the opposite, to start pushing out the opposite, because remember, everyone is you pushed out. What you want to start doing is shut out the 3D, shut out all the old circumstances, all the old story, um, all the past occurrences that you didn't like, whatever these might be, and actually, mentally and emotionally, shift your focus on what you do want to experience. Shift your focus on another reality, another inner state, another dominant inner energy that is actually aligned with your specific person thinking about you all the time, missing you, craving your company, wanting to be with you, wanting to spend time with you, choosing, if you will, to spend time with you, choosing to make plans with you and choosing to prioritize you. And because your specific person is always your mirror, is always a mirror of your dominant inner energies, your dominant inner states, once you do start changing these dominant inner conversations, they are going to receive it subconsciously and they are subconsciously going to start reflecting that new story that you're now telling. So you need to start developing some sort of indifference towards what has happened in the past, what they have said, what they have done, because remember, these also are reflections of parts of your own inner consciousness, and start putting all your attention, if possible, or at least the majority of your attention when you're thinking about them, towards the new story that you want to create, towards that, that new experience that you want to live with them. So you start actually telling yourself how they're thinking about you, how they're missing you, how they're craving to be with you, how they love your company, how they've always enjoyed your company, how they're choosing you, how they're choosing to spend time with you, how they're choosing to make plans with you, and in general, things along those lines, things along the lines of what you actually want. And there are many ways with which you can do that. You can actually do inner conversations with them, or you can do inner conversations with yourself, or you can do it as affirmations, or you can write it down if that's easier and better for you. If you're a visual person, you might even want to visualize a scene. It doesn't matter how you do it. What does matter though, is that as you are actually creating that new story in your imagination, no matter what technique you're using to do that or what combination of techniques, you want to start feeling it as truth. When you're practicing those techniques, those methods, you want your subconscious mind to actually get the message that this is happening now. This is what, how I feel now. This is how I would be feeling if all the things I'm saying in my inner conversations, in my affirmations, in my scripting, whatever you're using, are actually true and real, and they feel true and real in this moment. So you start creating that dominant inner experience when you're actually starting to feel more and more natural, in the thought and in the feeling that your specific person actually does miss you, is thinking about you, does want your company, does want that relationship with you, whatever it is that you might be manifesting. And then you start catching that feeling, how it would actually feel if that were true right now. You're impressing your subconscious with that in those moments when you're practicing those states. And then over some time, over a few days or over a few weeks, it will actually start feeling more and more natural to you. The more you practice it, the more you revisit that state, the more you revisit that dominant inner energy where you actually feel the relief and the fulfillment of things actually being the way you want them to be with your specific person. And this is what's going to make all the difference. This is when things are going to start being pushed out in the 3D. You are going to start feeling differently and that is going to be reflected in the 3D. And if you keep revisiting that state over and over, make it your dominant state, shut out the 3D, shut out the unwanted circumstances, shut out what might have happened in the past, what they might have said, what they might have done, or not said or not done, and focus on what you actually want. Keep revisiting that state, keep revisiting that energy, keep recreating it within you. And before you know it, A, it's going to start feeling much more natural to you, 
And B, once it becomes dominant within you, it's going to start getting pushed out into the 3D and the 3D is going to reflect it to you directly. That means your specific person is actually going to start molding into that new version of themselves that you want, into that new version of themselves that is actually thinking about you, is actually missing you, is actually choosing you, is choosing to make plans with you, is choosing to prioritize you, etc. So with all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.